Shit, what's this podcast called? Discourse of Human Events. The, the discourse is just crazy, crazy, crazy. Everything's okay, I'm just trying to act my age. Yeah, I wanna know. Ready? One, two, three. Let's Space Quest! All right, so the game is uh, Infinite Galaxies, Powered by the Apocalypse. And Powered by the Apocalypse is an actual brand name of a game system. And uh, this is a system known as a story game. And in a story game, the players drive the action. So as opposed to a traditional game where you might have a game master that comes to the game session with a bunch of stuff prepared and the players just react to that material in those situations. In a story game, the players drive the action. So the game master sets up a situation and the players start doing stuff and the GM actually reacts to what they choose to do. Um, This is a pretty simple system. It uses uh, 2d6 uh, for all resolution of any actions in the game. Uh, you will modify the 2d6 with some ability score or some other variable. Uh, the ability scores in Infinite Galaxies are the traditional D&D ability scores, so you have strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. So anyway, so the task resolution, anytime you go to do something where there's some chance that you might fail, uh, you're going to roll the 2d6, and then you're going to modify it with one of your ability scores. In some rare cases, you might modify it with something else, but that's to Typically, it's going to be one of your ability scores. So um, in Infinite Galaxies, the ability scores range from minus 1, which is the worst you can be at something, to plus 3, which is the best that you're going to be at something. So what happens is there's three different results. So after you've rolled the dice, there's three different results. There's a 6 or less, which is a failure. That means that you did not do whatever you were trying to do, and there's some dire consequence as a result of that. There's a partial success. That's on a 7 through 9. And what that means is that you got what you were trying to do in essence, however, you will have to get either a lesser version of what you were trying to do or there's some consequence as a result of it. So you may have to spend a resource or you might take damage or there's various things that might happen. Um, And then a 10 or higher is a complete success and that means you got whatever you're trying to do, absolutely. There's no negative consequences and Depending on what you're trying to do, you may have additional options when you get a 10 or better. So it may say you get what you want and you could do X as well. So in the game, everything that you're going to do is what's called a move. So when you go to do something where there's an element of failure, it's, it's called a move. There's a set of basic moves that everybody in the game can do. Uh, these are things like shooting, uh, fighting people, uh, kind of searching an area, looking for clues, Uh, negotiating with NPCs, Uh, those are all things everybody can do, so there's a set of basic moves that are targeted at that. Um, In addition, there are basic vessel moves. These are things like when you're on a ship, and when we get into some space stuff, I'll talk about how those work. But then, each playbook, and the characters are, there's different playbooks in the game, there's eight playbooks in Infinite Galaxies. The playbooks have special moves that are for you. So, for example, if you're the robot, you have a set of moves that are focused on you being a robot. Um, And there's actually, each playbook comes with three different Um, packages or configurations so that you can kind of customize your character right off the bat. And so you'll have special moves on your playbook, and those are in addition to the basic moves that everybody gets to do. So that's pretty much gameplay. Let's have everybody, uh, we'll we'll just go, we'll start with Jack, just explain your character. And from now on, we're going to refer to you by your character name. So we don't use your real name. That way you have plausible deniability. But um, (laughs) it's a part of the kind of... um, conceit of it is that you're, we're going to use your character's names. So, Jack, why don't you tell us about your character? Uh, yeah, let's see. Well, Jack is a drug smuggler. I know that much. Uh, borderline alcoholic, real shady character <laughs> from this faraway place called Earth. <laughs> the faraway um, lands. Yeah, I'm not sure what else to really give as a backstory. Just uh, what, anything to make money kind of guy. What is Jack good at? 
Yeah, what do you do? What What is your... Oh. What do we, uh, besides drink uh, alcohol. A practical joker. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Always uh, getting into trouble. That's what he's good okay. at. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, and what origin did you pick? Origin is okay. criminal, right? Is that the okay. thing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, drug okay. smuggler. And, and, and could you briefly go over your relationships that you chose again? Yeah. Uh, Puny will risk themselves to protect me. And I will use Prome- Prometheus as a distraction. Which shouldn't be hard, since he's a freaking <laughs> ape with four arms. That's a good choice, see? You'll be yeah, able to do so that, that makes, a lot. Hopefully, so that's that makes good. perfect sense. Alright, so let's talk about Prometheus. Alright. I am an upright, white, albino ape with four arms, as Jack has mentioned. I have black eyes with a little reddish tint to them. I, I wear a, a brown robe cover up the the parts that you would normally see on an ape. I walk around with... My my main weapon is my halo sword in my mind because I am a telepath. Yeah. So my my sword looks exactly like the halo sword um, except I can put a gem into it to increase abilities. That gem normally is floating around my head and helping me out. It's called a Kreth stone. And so my relationship is uh, puny... Uh, I gotta get her to understand my powers, because as a scientist, I don't think she truly understands telepathy yet. And Jack must take me to dangerous places, which, uh, knowing Jack, I just don't think that's gonna be, be hard. Alright, and, uh, then okay. Puny, tell us about Puny. So, I'm Puny. I am from a far away planet. Mm-hmm. And... Are you Puny even for a gnome? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I'll get to it. Okay, okay. Uh, I work... To, as a, a mechanics for a nine to five job in genome tech. Oh. Okay, a little bit background story <laughs> of the planet that we come from. Everyone is a gnome. Okay, okay? so and you're then, a normal size on uh, your home planet. Yes, I'm, I'm normal size, and then everybody is called puny, and I happen to be puny five six zero eight. <laughs> but since I'm coming to this adventure, I decide to just go by puny. Okay, mm. and. Because I'm so tired of my desktop job, <laughs> I'm always looking for new adventures. That's why I chose a laser pistol as my, one of my equipment. Nice. And also, you know, as a normal jazz, a, a scanning modules, just for okay. maybe unforeseeable risks. Um, for the relationship, um, because I'm going to risk my life for Jack, Jack <laughs> <laughs> might as well need to reward me for my service. Mm. And I think I can help these uh, upright standing for um, the albino apes to solve a perplexing mystery because he can read other people's sure. mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Yep. All right. All right. Um, that sounds good. So in this one, um, since uh, Prometheus is one of our white apes, we're going to go ahead and set this in the default setting, um, which is called Star Patrol. Um, which is part of the Infinite Galaxy's core rules. So the technology and some of the character stuff is sort of pointed towards the Star Patrol setting. Um, The Star Patrol setting itself is not heavily, um, uh, is not heavily like a big part of the foundation of the rules, but it is, there are certain choices, design choices in the game that are kind of framed around that setting. Um, mm-hmm. If you know, if you're running the game and you want to do something completely different, you can totally change any of that stuff. You can introduce different technology. It's not going to break anything as long as you kind of follow the general guidelines of the stuff that's already there. Um, okay. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so you guys are on a ship called the Largo. Oh, the wow. Largo is a transport ship that is used to take large groups of people from point A to point B. So. Mm-hmm. The Star Patrol setting is set in our actual universe, um, you know, obviously with the addition of aliens and, and some of the planets and stuff like that. But mm. so Earth exists, you know, the the Sol star system exists, other star systems exist. We'll we'll say that you guys are being transported somewhere. Um, so where are you guys going? Why are you guys using this transport vessel? And where are you going? Anybody can mm. answer. I feel like Nick got us in trouble on Earth, so we kind of had to leave. I, I feel like I have, and whatever, like, stuff we checked in, like, we have belongings, just various things, 
I have a bunch of drugs shoved in every smuggling? one of their little packs. Okay. Yeah, they they don't know. Okay. But I have some stuff in there, and all I right, need to right, get guys, it through. Let's, let's abandon the ship. <laughs> no, you don't know. I, I I hope I got away with putting this in I, there. I, I don't know. I maintain the ship. It's hard to, uh, you know, mm. unless you really know the ship. Mm. So I'm saying we left Earth because obviously you got us in trouble, um, Jack, as you always do. Um, apparently you're smuggling drugs we don't know about, which is just more trouble you're probably going to cause. And so we're just, I think at this point we're just runaway. This might have been the first ship we were able to get on to to get out of Earth. Okay. So we're headed wherever it's taken us. Yep. So you're essentially on the run from yes. the, the cops. From from the Earthling cops, yes. Earthling cops, yeah, okay. Yeah, they, they're, they're running away. I'm just enjoying the ride because <laughs> it's uh, very, very different from a <laughs> cubicle job. Yeah, <laughs> your cubicle. From your cubicle job. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but you but your characters all do know each other, um, so... Yeah. You know, that's... that. You, for some yeah. reason, you guys are together. Um, we can sort of explore that a little bit more if we need to, but the, the essence mm-hmm. of it is that you char- your characters are... On the run from Star Patrol, um, but it's the name of the setting, but it's also the name of kind of the the law enforcement organization. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, so like you're it. on this Largo, which is this transport vessel. So um, there's probably like a hundred people like yourselves on this ship, and so you guys are in these like cryo sleep chambers, kind of like if you've seen Alien, or yeah. there's. Mm-hmm. Other movies where they do this, so you, you or guys... Prometheus maybe. Right, right. So they have like these little kind of uh, cocoons that you go into, um, mm-hmm. and you are put into cryo sleep. So these transport, you know, can take a long time. And so um, where, so so where are you guys going? Where is the ship headed? We took the first ship, so it's headed. Let's. I mean, we could just pick a, a yeah. spot. Um, the opposite direction of the cops of the chase. <laughs> yeah, so, so they found my drugs, and I'm I'm trying to maintain them yeah. uh, okay. by, by sneaking them into their belongings. And you probably lied to us some other way of, like, we're in trouble, the cops mm. are on, on the run. Star Patrol is uh, going to get us. Right, so maybe you guys are just headed to, like, the fringe of, like, human space. Yes. Because Star Patrol well, would have less... Yeah, we're we trying to get away from the opposite, humanity. Though. That's I sure. want to get my drugs to the market, but we're not away from the but market. But we got to leave the Earth The fringe Earth. is not the market. Well, but that may not be true. There may be a kind of a black market there. Yeah, there's, there's definitely right. a black we, market. We can, because... Wherever there's a black market, yeah, that's where excellent. we're headed. All right. So just for the heck of it, I will look up one of these fringe systems, and we'll say that you guys are there. Yeah. Or I don't there. see why why we shouldn't not know about your drugs, Nick. I feel like we should be together as just drug smugglers at this point. I just feel like it's more fun if I snuck them in. And, and it's pretty amazing that the, you can avoid all the places that I do routine checkup on the ship. Yeah, and I'm a telepath, so you being able to sneak things. <laughs> b- oh, well, uh, you're not reading my me. mind. Like I think I says get a, you a, like a roll against you reading my mind. Uh, yeah, every time I try, I don't, but I don't know. Not really. <laughs> eventually, I'm going to find out. Yeah, how's that work? <laughs> like in uh, D and D, I think don't they have so some when somehow? if so if he tries to do something to you um, telepathically, he rolls and then um, it it's really based on whether he succeeds or not. Um, you could, if you knew he was doing it, you could try to interfere with him. There's an interfere move. Um, Typically, these moves are used against NPCs. They don't get to do anything. They just—it's all mm-hmm. based on whether how he rolls, right? But if yeah. it's against a PC, um, you could try to interfere with him. But it is okay. all based on his roll. You wouldn't roll to like resist it. You could roll to maybe throw off. He's just trying to control you. But if he's just trying to read your mind, usually he can just do it unless he fails. How about so. this, Nick? We're drug smugglers, but you happen to have a lot more drugs than what we've accounted for on our our books. Okay, I, I like it. We'll go with okay. that. So, is, we're this, is this drug drugs smuggling. human specific, uh-huh. or is this a drug that actually will cater to the aliens? As it's well? substance D, so it, it's for everybody. Yeah. Sure. Um. All right. Well, say so you're going to Daros. D E R O S. That's the system that you're headed to. Okay. Okay. Daros has a orbital colony over Daros Minor, which has a pretty thriving black market in it. Okay. Um, so that you'll have like a lot of place. smugglers and ne'er do wells and pirates and crap all there. So yes. um, when you get there, you'll have you'll be among your kind. At least uh, everyone except for poor 
puny, who probably isn't a pirate. <laughs> Freak? <laughs> Maybe she is, I don't know. She's the one that cuts our <laughs> drugs properly. She's oh, our okay. scientist. She's like our chemist. Yeah. Get all your weights and measures. Yeah. yeah she, well, she she's can. the one that does all the technical work. Make, make sure no one gets more than what they paid for. <laughs> exactly. Alright, alright, yeah. right. Pretty much, pretty much digital scale. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. So, um, anyway, so you're on the Largo, and you're in your cryosleep, mm-hmm. and uh, you wake up. You see oh. that your cryo chamber has opened, and there's some kind of, like, red flashing light. You guys all see this on your individual okay. cocoon thingies. So there's oh, this shit. red flashing light, and you're not super familiar with these chambers, so you're not really sure what's going on. Um, uh, what do you do? Okay, so we we just wake up. We're stuck in our chambers, but we see red flashing. No, lights. they're open. You can get up. Oh, they they did open. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They oh. opened. Yeah. So I'll get up and like it, look around. Is like, are the other ones opening as well, or is it just some of them are open? So it's not just the three of you. There's other. Like I said, there's like a hundred passengers on. But this some side. of them are closed. Some of them place? are closed. Some of them are open. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try and analyze the situation. See where people are headed. Well, what's what's, or what's going, going on? on, right? Yeah, okay. just basically yep. what's going on. Okay, so he's going to trigger what's what's called the analyze move. Analyze is one of the basic moves. So uh, when you assess a person or situation and look for opportunities, he's going to roll and add his wisdom. Okay. So whenever it says roll, you roll two d six. I still I'm unbound with my okay stone. So let's see four nine nine plus wisdom. That's an eleven. Okay, so an 11 is a complete success. And you, so why don't you tell us what happens on a complete success? Okay, so complete success. Ask the GM three questions from the list below. Okay. What happened here recently is going to be my first question out of the list. Okay. What, what, what happened? Okay, so you will see that um, on the various ones that are open, you will see that the red flashing light is this panel, um, and on the panel it says containment failure. Um, and this appears to be related, some, something related to the life support system on the ship. Hmm. So, uh, just to interrupt real quick, when you act on this information I'm giving you, you get a pl- what's called a plus one forward. So, um, in this game, in this system, when you get situational bonuses, it's either going to be a forward or an ongoing bonus, okay? Forward means to the next thing that you do related to this. For example, if he gotcha. decides to go try to fix the life support, he'll get a plus one to that roll. Uh, Ongoing okay. means you get a plus one until some condition. When you're doing something about the containment failure, you get a plus one. But it's just you, so the plus one doesn't transfer yeah, yeah, yeah. to other people. Yeah. I'm also going to ask, what should I be careful to avoid in this situation? Okay. You notice that the ship is kind of rocking and rolling a little bit more than you think it should be. Uh, this this is a very large transport vessel and it's very stable normally like when you're traveling mm-hmm. around you don't even know you're on a ship you it's like you're in a building this thing hardly moves yeah. um and it's rocking and rolling quite a bit for your comfort so um something strange is going on with either the navigation systems or the steering or something is causing this thing to move gotcha. violently much more than it normally would okay what in in my area is useful or valuable to me right now Okay, um, you do see that there is uh, some sort of, there's some control panels in here along the walls um, that you can access. Uh, you're not super familiar with them, but you could probably mm-hmm. do some stuff with them to help out your situation or at least figure out what's going on. Okay, uh, I see Puny, right? The, they've awakened and everything. Mm-hmm. You, see uh, a lot, like... you see other people too. You see the, your other two companions, but you see other people, okay. some of which are getting up. You do notice also that some of the things opened and the people didn't get up for some reason. Gotcha. I'm going to tell Puny and Jack, like, in a quick way, like, what's happening. Hey, the life support's down. This is a rocky ride. We need to figure out what's going on. I tell Puny, we have a control panel here. Can you help me figure out how we can fix this situation if we can get life support fixed or whatever this control panel is for? See if she knows what that control panel actually does. All right, so I'm going real quick, I'm going to introduce a milestone here just so that you guys can pick some drives and get some XP from that stuff. So the milestone is going to be, we'll say figure out what's happening with the Largo. Okay. Okay. So now what you're going to do, since I've introduced a milestone, is you're going to pick two of your drives, and then you're going to you're going to mark those, and then when you trigger those two, you're going to get XP for those. And go ahead, when, once you've decided, go ahead and announce what they are, just so that we know. Okay. My drive is convey hidden knowledge to someone. 
and also create or modify device critical to team success. Excellent. So, Those sound like those, really good choices. That, yeah, All those right. are good. Um, I'm going to do the steal critical info from somebody's mind. Sure. And use psionics to spirit someone from danger. All right. I'm going to find critical information no one else can and defeat somebody by taking advantage of it. Okay. Cool. Now, the important thing about triggering those things for XP is you do not have to be successful. You just have to try to do them. Oh, okay. So if you say, oh, I'm going to save everybody, and then you roll a six, you still get the XP for trying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can try You it. get an A for like, effort. Everything. Nice. So. <laughs> so let's move on to, so Puny, um, uh, Prometheus has told you some things. What do you think about the situation? Uh, I think I'm going to try to understand the control panel. Okay, sure. So there's thing. actually a move called understand, um, mm -hmm. which you could mm -hmm. which you could use. So when you encounter a new people, place, or technology and seek to understand it, roll plus your intelligence. Now, here's the thing, S real quick. So just game mechanic-wise. So mm -hmm. Prometheus is mm -hmm. getting a plus one forward to doing something with the questions. So what you may want to do is you can aid him, so he'll still be able to take advantage of that plus one. When you uh, aid him, me in understanding it? Right. Okay. And then when she aids you, she gives you a plus one. So you're actually going to get plus Sweet. two to that roll. That may be better than her rolling on her own. I don't know, but yeah, something to consider. Because she doesn't yeah. get the plus one. Only you do. I have a plus two in intelligence, uh, puny. Uh, and I also have, a, I have plus, plus two, too. But I got the bonus for, from uh, for the forward, so I have a plus three. Oh, okay. And then if she yeah, aids yeah. you, then that would be a plus, plus four. four. Right. Yeah, you definitely want to aid aid me instead. That yeah, double yeah, yeah. So rather than the engineer yeah, investigating this control panel, we're going to have the telepath. Yeah. Right, but she's helping. She's standing she's there like, pointing at stuff. Yeah. And, yeah, like no idiot. That's not what that button. Right. Does. Yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, if you so, picture it, he may be already standing at the panel, and she comes over, so he's I'm already, already messing with it. And she's like, no, 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 blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So that's kind of if you picture in your head, that's probably she's what she's basically happens. fixing all the errors I'm about to make. Right. So go ahead and roll. You get a plus four, which is really good. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Uh, well, uh, four, five, so nine. Okay. Oh, so you have a partial, partial success. The, the GM must tell you something interesting about it. Okay. So um, this is a panel that controls the uh, the the sleeping pods. Okay. Um, okay. So you can do things with the sleeping pods, such as turn them on or off. Uh, change the levels of cryogen or whatever, you know, the stuff that keeps you asleep. Um, you can monitor life signs of people. You can do all that stuff at this panel. By looking at this, can I understand the people that are, which pods are still in the sleep mode, and if they're vital, are they dying, or are they, is their sure. vitals good? Sure. good so vital you can signs? check individual, like you can look at yours, you can look at other yeah. people's, sure. So it'll take uh, some time to go through all of them, but you can definitely do that. So, okay. Um, after a few moments, you get the sense that um, there definitely is a containment failure. So the, the thing that you saw earlier is correct. Um, about 40% of the pods oh. popped open because of this containment failure. Um, mm -hmm. The rest of – so there's about maybe 20% of the people that are still asleep, and you think another 30% of them are dead or dying. So there was a failure, but it didn't, it didn't get them out of the pod like it's stuck or there's some kind of problem with it. The twenty percent though have good vital signs, or is it look correct? Like yeah, they're, they're fine. They're okay. fine. So we said there was about a hundred people, so we're talking about forty. There's a lot that I'm cycling through here. Yeah, so forty okay. of them are fine, and, and probably walking around doing stuff like you guys. Um, mm. But they're not doing anything like what you. They're just kind of wandering aimlessly. Like you, you might be able to get them to do stuff, but right now they're just kind of uh, disoriented and stuff. Um, we'll say we'll say that we'll say that thirty percent are okay and thirty percent are dying or dead. That that's equals to hundred. There we go. Math. There All we right. go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I got you. Okay, and what are you doing, Nick? Yeah, let's go to Nick. Going through all uh, no, no, his name is yeah. Jack. Or Jack, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Jack. I feel like you guys got control of the situation. Um Well yeah, but uh, that's why we're asking Shady Character what he's doing. Yeah, yeah well I was trying to well, well there are a lot of witnesses up and about. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Disoriented witnesses, though. I'm just going to mingle about the uh, people that are up and about and just try to get a feel for the crowd. Like, if anyone knows what's going on. Mm. Like, uh, if there's anyone important aboard. Okay. Uh, so, I don't know what... So, would that be an analyze move? Or understand? Be. 
Um, well, well so that, there's really no danger inherent in him doing this, so he doesn't uh -huh. actually have to roll anything. So, okay. Okay. um, there's nothing dangerous right now about him doing that. He's basically doing that while you guys are trying to do this other stuff. Okay. So, unless he, like, wants to fight somebody or leave the area or something, there's not really anything particularly gotcha. dangerous. Now, you do notice the same thing that I told, um, Prometheus, which is that the ship is rocking a little bit, which seems very unusual to you. Based on your experience aboard the Largo so far, it's very odd for it to be moving that violently. So um, that is something potentially to investigate. Um, but you can do that in a moment. So talking to people, um, they are all, as far as you can tell, normal passengers. Um, there's nobody prominent or particularly wealthy. Those people would probably have their own ship and not use a transport like this. So damn, no marks. Yeah, you don't see anybody that seems <laughs> particularly interesting. I mean, there's people of uh, you might be interested in for other reasons, but not particularly wealthy or prominent. No. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay, do I get the sense while I'm looking through these people that even the ones that are okay, since we woke up and there's a containment failure, that I should open these pods? Um, do I understand um, that kind of level? They're sleeping normally. You do not have to wake them up. So uh, d uh, there's no reason for me to mess with those pods, and the ones that are dead are dead. The, well, the the one the, the the ones that we mentioned are are dying or dead. Some of them oh, may dying not be dead. or dead. Oh, okay, well I'm going to try and open the ones where the where the vital signs. Where they still have are, like life signs. Yeah, where where okay, it's sure, looking like there's that. something like they're about to die. Yep. If I don't open them up. Yep. So, um, do you want to try to open them all at once, or open them individually? Are you trying to do this quickly to Ooh, save that's all of them at once? Thirty. Or? Yeah. Do I get the sense I have to do it by the buttons, or can people open them? Before Zach does that, yeah. how much do organs go for well, on who, the market? Who's, who's Zach? Is this a lot? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Prometheus. <laughs> In this world, how much do organs go for on um, the market? Not Is this much. A little, normally, a lot. But where you're going, um, <laughs> you a decent amount of money. Sure, sure. I'm gonna at least suggest to uh, Prometheus that there could be some money in it if some of them didn't wake up. I reply, okay. But if you you gotta have a way to save these organs or whatever, so you can mess with the dead people. I'm gonna save the other people. Yeah, there are some that are already dead. Fair enough. There are some that are you can't save. Yeah, I can't save some of them, so if you can get their organs somehow, good luck. Uh, I so will be trying to... how are you with to... a scalpel? Oh, Jesus, man. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm not ready to go into this bloody matter yet. Mm. Um, I, I, I was Should still... Have been so, so we figure out the, uh, the control panel, right? But yeah. uh, I still want to try to understand why the ship was rocking. Okay. Okay, Ooh, sure. That's a, that's a good question. Yeah, that is. All right. <laughs> so how do you want to try to figure this out? This panel that you guys are looking at now is is only for the life support stuff. It Strictly doesn't have anything to do pods. with the rest of the ship. So you know uh, that there right. are other parts of the ship you can go to. There's a bridge. There's an engineering room. There's potentially other places. You probably haven't explored the ship a whole lot yet. Okay, so I was trying to figure out which way does the, uh, like, the... It's got to be a centralized control system, right? Yeah, this is specific to these pods. So the life support system for the ship is probably Ooh. in engineering, or it may have its own. Depending on how big the ship is, it may have its own little room. You, you okay, can go look for um, that, sure, if that's what you want to look for, sure. All right, uh, I, I will try to head to that direction. Okay. Sneakily. Okay. Sneakily. Sneakily? Sneakily? Okay. Why are you, Why are you sneaking in a crisis? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, look over there! <laughs> <laughs> well, well I'm, I'm small, right? So it doesn't, doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah you're already kind of sneaky. Yeah, I do be sneakily. <laughs> when you go out into the hallway, um, you notice that there's like a map of the ship. Okay. So you should be able to figure out how to get to where you're trying to go. So you do see that there is a dedicated room for the life support system. There's also a separate, it's right next to engineering. So if you need to go engineering, it's right next to it. Uh, is there any way to show in the map like a, it's a restricted area or something like that? A restricted area? Yeah, like, does like she need a, some code to get in there? Yeah, oh, no, no, you can go right access. in there. No. I mean, normally there would okay. be personnel around there. You don't know if there's any. The map doesn't say if there's people around there, but that would be the only, you know. There's probably like a, a, a real basic uh, group of guards or something on the ship for if there's any kind of trouble. But, mm. they, I mean, this isn't a military ship, so they it's pretty much just crew just doing stuff you yeah. know this is what you're for nick in case she gets into trouble while we're saving lives 
Okay. <laughs> I'm going to look at the map and see if there's anything else interesting, any other places we'd want to go. Mm. Um, The only other major area, so there's the bridge, there's engineering, there's uh, life support, there's like a navigation area that's ne- next to the bridge, there's a cargo area, there's some escape mm. pods. Cargo. Mm, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I mean, there's like quarters for the crew and stuff, I guess. I don't know how interested you are in that kind of stuff, but... Okay. All right, so um, I ask uh, Jack to uh, go along with me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we just continue to move forward towards that direction. Okay. And you guys are headed to the engineering room? That's where you guys are going? Okay. Essentially. It's right next to engineering. They're going to... There's like a life support... The life support area. area. Oh, okay. They're going yeah. specifically to the life support area. Yeah, it's like life support and environmental control, so like gravity gotcha. control and you know, air conditioning and crap like that. It's all in one area. Okay. So. Okay. All right, cool. So they're going to head down there. It'll take a few minutes to get there. So what is Prometheus doing while they're gone? Okay, I think you cut out when I said this. I am opening the pods one at a time, hopefully okay. maybe two or three at a time with my extra hands. But okay, I, don't, sure, yeah. I don't. I feel like I don't have the time to try and delegate to get all these open at one time, so I'm just doing them as fast as I can for the people who are currently dying. Okay. Or, or about to yeah, die. You, you, you would probably realize that there are manual releases on some of these, but it's it's faster to use the panel to do it. So, like, okay. if they were stuck, you could probably get people to help you, but they're not really stuck, per se. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to So, start. yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I'm going to have you um, roll a Defy Danger um, using your dexterity because you're trying to do this quickly. The danger being that the people will die if you don't do it quick enough. Gotcha. So, uh, why don't you go ahead and roll that? I hope I don't roll poorly on this one. <laughs> <laughs> you have a decent dex? I don't even know uh, what your stats are. No, it's a zero. Uh, I rolled a five, and that's plus zero. Unless I get okay. a plus one for the forward, but that's still a failure. Yes. Yes, but unfortunately, that's not enough to get you a success. So, um, yeah, so you you try your best, but you you get a little flustered um, as you're hitting buttons. You start hitting the wrong button and, oh, and doing shit. like closing ones you just opened and doing a bunch of stupid <laughs> stuff. And you don't end up really saving anybody. So, unfortunately, <laughs> those people are all dead. <laughs> more organs for me. That's right, more organs. After I kind of notice everyone's dying, I do the slow walk away from the control panel. <laughs> do, you, do you also whistle a jaunty tune? As you yes, know? yes, absolutely. Excellent. Excellent. Nice. All right. So you guys remember to mark your XP when if you do anything that triggers one of your drives or relationships. Okay. Not yet. All right. Cool. Um. All right. So we've done that. So you guys head over to the life support slash environmental area. Um, on your way there, you will see crew. There's not a big crew on this ship, but you will see crew kind of running down the hallways and stuff. Do you want to do anything mm. with them? They're not paying attention to you. There's crew running down the hallway as if something's really going on. Correct. Like, they're clearly freaked out about something. Yeah, I want to try to stop one of them and be like, uh, at least tell them that um, how do I get them to tell me what I need to know? Like, uh, you can just well, ask them. I, I mean, they're still just around. stop them and ask. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I wanted to be more slow. <laughs> yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll just simply ask. Okay. About what's going on, like, uh, tell them about like the people dying in the life support area. Okay. Um, and like, we really need to know. Okay. So you 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 get a hold of this uh, female crewman. And she says, oh, I, I, I don't have time to talk to you. We, we, we're under attack. And she's running towards the bridge. And there's other stuff That's as she's running away. She says, and other stuff. <laughs> other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like, you think she might be an engineer. So it's weird that she's running away from engineering. But that seems like what she's doing. I don't uh, think we should go to engineering. <laughs> I'm uh, getting the feeling. Okay, uh, do, do I smell anything weird? Smell anything? Smell like anything? anything um, no, not particularly, no. Okay, uh, other than those people running and screaming, yeah. do I hear anything else? How, like, afraid are they, like, running? And how many are running from the engineering? Well, say there's, like, the three of them. It's not a, th- This crew's not very big, so. Okay. That's probably, you would guess, about half of the engineering team. Okay. So, again, not a huge okay. crew. Okay. 
And, like, the look on their face from, uh, oops, I spilt milk, no. to, oh, shit, we're all gonna die. Second one. Like, where is it on that? Okay. <laughs> much, much closer to the second one. <laughs> okay. Well, they did say that they're mm. under attack, so that kind of should clue you. Yeah. And other stuff. And other stuff. Okay. Okay. So, if there's... If, mm, Let's so, be brave and just head to where they're running away from. That's what I think. I, I have a equipment, right? Yeah. So, do I have a... You're much more qualified than the engineers that they were paying to work here. <laughs> this is probably true. <laughs> sure. And we use you so, to smuggle drugs. <laughs> so, I have a um, specialized tool to robot, yep. right? Mm-hmm. Can yeah. I send that robot guy towards her and uh, that's a good take idea. a couple pictures? Well, and so, so on. those are tools used to fix robots. Those don't like create robots. Oh, so, like if I you're running you. a robot that uh, needs to be fixed, you have a move that allows you to repair them. Uh, that's what that's for. That makes sense. Okay, right. I'm gonna run back to uh, Prometheus mm-hmm. okay. as fast as I can and ask him to read the minds of the uh, people that are running like hell. To figure out what the hell's going on. Okay. So, Jack, are you about to take me to a dangerous place? Is that what I sense? I'm yeah. following Jack that, wherever he's know. he's taking well, me. Well, so the people that you're talking about are all on the bridge now. Well, the people that you, okay. you know about, they were all heading towards the bridge. So okay. you could go in engineering to see if anyone's left there, or you could go to let's, the bridge. Just, cause there's gonna yeah, be I'm going to bring... Bridge. I'm going to bring Prometheus to engineering. Okay. We're all. Okay. I'm going to bring him to the dangerous place in engineering, yep. along with Puny. And we, we okay. three all heading to engineering. Okay, sure. No problem. All right. Okay. So you guys all meet up in engineering. Um, there is one person in engineering still. Um, you get the sense, based on the uniforms and stuff that you've seen around here, this is the chief engineer of the ship. And he is frantically trying to do stuff. Um, there's all kinds of alerts, and there's like hissing, like you know, smoke shooting out of things, and it, some, it's bad. I'm going to now telepathic link. Is that how I read his mind then? Uh, yes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and he's not hostile to me, right? So I don't have he to spend not, reserve. No, no, okay. Not at all. I'm going to try and develop a telepathic link with him. Okay. So go ahead and just just for the purpose of the podcast, go ahead and read what that move does. Okay. So. Uh, when I establish a telepathic link with a living being, I roll the two die six plus my initiative. If they are hostile to me, I have to spend reserve, which I only have three reserve. But since right. he's not ha- hostile to me, I don't have to. Um, but on a success, right. a communication link is established, and this lasts until my next move. On a complete success, it lasts for the ne- the rest of the scene, so I'll be able to read his mind throughout the whole scene if it's a complete success. Right. Um, if I fail, I just imagine I don't establish the link. And I'm I'm gonna receive a I can send and receive thoughts. Sweet. So go ahead yep. and roll so, for that. Yeah. So just I want to real quick explain how um, the size is a little different than some of the other characters. So you have um, what's called reserve, and so you spend those reserve to power your psionic moves. Mm-hmm. Um, you you have three, and you can sometimes you can recover them in certain situations, but you want to be careful about constantly using those all. But Normally, when you have a move that requires you to spend reserve, if you get a complete success, you get it back. Oh, okay. But yeah, this one so. won't require any because he's not really hostile to me for this telepathic. Correct, yep. Link. Cool. All right. Let's see what I get. Oh, that's not good. Let's see. Four plus, what is it, intelligence? So six? Intelligence. So six. I don't think I have any other pluses, do I? So that means that you failed. So in this uh, case, you do not lose any reserve because he's not hostile to you, so that's good. Okay. Um, however, you did fail. So that means that the GM, me, gets to do something. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Um, first off, I am going to set up what's called a clock. Okay. Because there's a time kind of sensitive situation happening that your characters don't really know about yet. Um, but you're going to as soon as you start doing a little more investigation. So just to be ominous, I'm going to start this clock. So the way the clock works is that it is a number of check boxes. And when these all get checked, then something bad is going to happen. I'm going to set up eight check boxes oh, for this clock. And I'll tell you because you can't see it. Normally you'd be able to see it. Yeah. I, I'd be writing on, on an index card. But I'll tell you guys when I'm checking the boxes. So um, I'm going to go ahead and check one box now. And oh. so whenever there's a failure, I can check one of these boxes. 
So you do want to be careful about trying too many different things, because if you fail, I can check one of these boxes, and when you run out of boxes, something really bad is going to happen. So we've so, got our first check. Um, and this is an addition to Is that a check box else. per, like, character action or, like, a set? Like, we all three do something, one gets if checked. If you guys make a roll and there's a failure, I can check one of these boxes. Okay, gotcha. It's, it's, it's kind of my discretion, but I'm probably going to do it each time because, like I said, this is a time-sensitive situation that's happening. Um, but, well, again, once you guys kind of figure out what's happening, you can you can try to prevent this from happening, okay? Mm -hmm. um, but in any event, uh, so you do see that the chief engineer is try, hurriedly trying to – it's hard to get into his mind because his he's so, like, focused and, and busy and stuff like that. So that's probably why you're okay. not able to do it. Normally when creatures are a little more serene, a little more calm, it's easier to get into their mind. So that – Kind of explains why you're not able to see what's happening, mm -hmm. um, but I mean you can clearly see what he's doing. He's frantically trying to fix something, but you don't know what it is. Okay, I'm gonna lean next to uh, Puny, our engineer, yeah. and ask, "Do you have any idea what the fuck that guy is doing <laughs> right now? Like, what, like if she has any special expertise that can give us more insight, oh, so she okay. can try to understand it." I'm Stepping forward to that uh, chief engineer and offering to help. Well, why don't you analyze that? Analyze or uh, understand <laughs> what's going analyze, on. Analyze, yeah. Yeah, so those are two different moves. So it kind of mm. depends on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to get a general like overview of what's going on, I would use analyze. If mm. you're trying to see what he's doing, then it would probably be understand. Uh, so it kind of depends on what. Yeah, which... I'll, I'll use the understand. Okay. 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 All right, cool. so go ahead and roll plus your intelligence. So you got a base nine. Your intelligence is plus two. two yeah. So you got an eleven. So eleven is a complete success. So um, on a complete success, I have to tell you something interesting, and the information must be useful to your current situation. Okay. Um, okay. So you know that he is trying to uh, fix the um, antimatter chamber. So in the ship. There are two different uh, drive systems. There is like an impulse drive or like a, a short distance kind of drive that you use when you're already in a star system. Um, but when you travel between star systems, there's a system called a, mat a matter antimatter engine or MAME, M A M E. And the matter antimatter engine, what it does is when you travel from a star system to a star system, you don't physically travel that space because it's really, really far. Instead, what happens is the matter antimatter engine creates a black hole inside of the ship. It collapses the ship into the black hole, and then you travel through this kind of other dimension called other space, and then you arrive on the other side of where you're trying to go. Um, okay. Now, this system's been around for a long time. In the beginning, it was real sketchy, but it's pretty much established now. Um, it's fairly <laughs> safe, um, and so uh, it looks like it, that system has been damaged in some way, and he's trying to fix that. Oh, shit. Okay, so... Uh... If I were to help them, how would I how would I proceed? So in this case, he is trying to fix something, and you have a move called repair, which um, allows you to restore vitality or hull to a ship or a robot, but it also restores functions to things. So we could use that aspect of it and say that you're trying to repair the antimatter containment. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. So you'll see. Do you see your repair move? Uh, is it oh, on a on special move? Yeah, it's under the engineer package. It's the first one. Ah, roll intelligence. Mm -hmm. So I'll roll for you again. She got a. Oof, that's not good. You got a six. Okay. Is that with so, pluses? Yeah, that's with pluses. Oh boy. Yeah, okay. Pluses. Well, that's all right. So, um, mm -hmm. all right. So now remember, you have, I think, a drive related to trying to modify stuff, right? Right. Okay. So this would definitely trigger that. So you get two XP for that. Two XP. Yeah, because I'm giving out double XP for this. Oh, okay. Yeah, so normally it'd be one, but in your case it's going to be two. Okay, so but okay. you did fail to do it, so I'm going to mark another check on this on this clock here. Um, however, so what happens is the ship is like uh, it, it it is jolted by something like more than normal. Um, the engineer is shouting stuff about like he's trying to get you. He he realizes that you're a skilled engineer. He can tell you have this harness, this engineer's harness. I don't know if you saw that, but. One of your moves gives you this cool harness that holds your tools and stuff. Um, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, so he sees that. Oh, so he recognizes, and he sees what you're trying to do. So he's like, okay, um, he's going to go try to uh, get the – he's going he's to go manually try to deal with the antimatter chamber. 
Uh, he says that he's just not able to do it from here, so he's going to go leave. Uh, but he says, um, but what you should do while I'm doing that is get us away from that black hole. <laughs> Oh, and he okay. points towards a window. <laughs> and you see outside, gosh, there's a big black hole out there. Your ship is awfully close to it. <laughs> oh, uh, so do I operate directly on the panel that he was operated on? Yeah, I mean, he, he basically is telling you to do something to try to get the ship away from that black hole. That's what he's telling you to do. Save us. So he, so he uh, leaves the panel. He goes off and goes towards that, that antimatter chamber. Uh, okay. So, d- so let's just pause right there, Puny. So do Jack or Prometheus want to do anything while she's doing that stuff? Oof. Trying to analyze this situation. Let's see. Yeah. Um, trying to figure out what I should do. Obviously, can't help him. Uh, do I see that we're because they said we're under attack? Do I see any danger? Do I? Yeah. The the black hole's not attacking you. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So, so that's what I'm saying. Do I see anything else there. as I'm analyzing that? As somebody's actually attacking us so, from somewhere. Well, you can you could analyze. probably roll analyze. Would make yeah. sense here. Analyze. Oh, it. Well, I got like a 14 on that. So beautiful. All right. So you get to ask three questions. All right. Um, what should I be careful to avoid? In a general sense, obviously there are things inside of this chamber like the antimatter chamber is actually leaking um if you get too close of it it might get on you which is really bad um it could kill you so you definitely want to stay away from that there are uh, like kind of hazmat suits in here that you could put on that might help you just in case you accidentally step in it but um you know you're far away from it now but if the leak gets worse okay. you, you may want to put on one of those suits um gotcha. Yeah. So I can so take a mental note question. that if I start seeing antimatter leak in here, start putting yeah. on. And we'll say the suits are like flexible enough to where even though you. <laughs> to my other two can arms still, can fit in. <laughs> you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, White apes are common enough in the setting; they would have something for you. Okay. What here is not what it appears to be. So I'm gonna kind of tweak that question slightly to kind of help out with what's happening. So, okay. um, you as you're looking outside, you see this big black hole. And these starfighters went past the window real, real fast. Um, so, and you think they're shooting at the ship or doing something with mm-hmm. the ship because they're like they look like they're attacking. So when you say starfighters, do I like know what uh, are they part of Star Patrol or are they just random? Ah, uh, they went by way too fast. Okay. You can't tell. I saw. But if you go and, and focus, like try to, you, there's you, there's other like outside of engineering, there's other control panels and stuff that might give you like a way to tell that but from here they just go by so fast you just know there's gotcha. fighters, that's all you can tell yeah i i will say typically star, star patrol does not use ships that small gotcha. um so they're probably pirates or something kind of feel like i got the useful or, well because i know the hazmat suits do i know if there's anything else useful or valuable to me besides the hazmat suits um well you do know that the largo has defensive weapons on it okay that could be used to deal with the those starfighters if necessary. They're not great, but they're better. Are those than here in the command center? Or the no, bridge? but you you know where they are. Okay. They're like uh, cannon, like the kind of like in Star Wars where they get into those little things. With the, the I turrets, know what you mean. Yeah, like, like to- yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put on a hazmat suit and head to the turret system. Cool. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to resolve the first milestone that I gave you guys because it was figure out what's happening with the Largo, which you guys know now what's happening. You've got – you're on the edge of a black hole and you're being attacked, uh-huh. okay? So when I resolve a milestone, you guys get 2 XP. So go ahead and mark that. And then you guys get to pick new drives. Out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to introduce two milestones for the new one because there's kind of two things happening. So the first thing is that you need to deal with the pirates – and deal with them could be to get them to go away. Deal with them could be to blow them up. Whatever. Mm-hmm. So we'll say we'll say we'll say repel the pirate attack. Right? <laughs> okay. It, that that is you want to use general language because it doesn't have to be kill them or destroy them. Gotcha. Somehow get rid of them. I'm kind of letting the cat out of the bag. They are pirates. Star Patrol would probably be trying to get you out of the black hole, so they're definitely not trying to do that. Um, all right, and the second one is to get the Largo away from the black hole. So because we have two milestones, um, you guys can pick new drives, but keep in mind you can resolve either one of these. All right, I'm going to get someone else out of danger and using skill and guile. Why not? Instead of uh, defeat someone by taking advantage of them. Sure. 
then I'll keep the fine critical information no one else can. Yeah, you don't have to change them. I mean, if, if, if you like the ones you've got, keep them. Yeah, I was just changing one. Okay, yep. So, And, um, right. by the way, the clock also acts as a milestone, so if you guys save the ship, mm-hmm. and that's what the clock's for. So if the, if the clock runs out, that means the ship goes into the black hole, basically. Um, okay. So if you resolve that, you get XP for that, too. So. Okay. FYI. So. Okay, well, I'm going to change OneDrive to um, defeat a force of superior numbers or firepower, and I'm going to sure. keep the uh, steel critical info from someone's mind. Yeah, you had that one, definitely. I'm going to change the drive of convey hidden knowledge to someone mm-hmm. to bring someone or something back from the brink of death or destruction. Sure. You, you sure you don't want to explain to Prometheus your telepathy while he tries to understand it during this whole assault thing? <laughs> 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 nice Just sit there and have a long, drawn-out yeah, discussion. Nice now, I will say that you did try to use your telepathy, but you were unsuccessful. Had you been successful, you might have been able to trigger that relationship with her about your psionics. Okay. But since you blew it, I don't think you should. Do I still get XP from the just the drive, attempting the, the drive? I would say no in this situation because nothing happened. The, the, that useless. relationship is about demonstrating it, okay. right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you didn't really demonstrate anything. Gotcha. So you, you looked furtively at the chief engineer and nothing happened. <laughs> She's so. like, oh, why is this ape? Just... She thinks you have a crush on the engineer. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with this ape? Yeah, yeah. So that one's kind of a little harder because yeah, you do no, have to it. sort of be somewhat successful. Or at least, yeah. Yeah, I got you. I mean, you guys could have a conversation about your psionics and that would be legit too. Yeah, maybe after some of the crisis dies down, that may happen. Sure. But I feel yeah. like Jack already took me to a dangerous place, so he, he did. we're good he there. Did. Yes, you guys <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay, so you guys are ready to get going? Yeah. Yeah, okay. so I have a question. On that map, did I see any place that would contain, like, some sort of escape pod? Yes. Yeah. Some way to get the fuck out of here? Yes, I, I mentioned escape pods. Okay, you did. Okay. Yeah, I did. <laughs> they're I the, am going... They're right in the middle of the ship, so you're you're. it's between you and the bridge. I'm going to try to understand how I would uh, utilize those escape pods. Like, is there some code I need? Anything like that? Um, you would know on ships like this, the escape pods are very, mm-hmm. very basic and easy to use. It doesn't require anything special, because you have to be able to use them in an emergency. So, no, there's nothing special about that. Okay. You just get in it and hit a button, and off it goes. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna tell them. Uh, if you guys uh, don't come up with anything soon, here, <laughs> we're, we're bailing. We're bailing. Okay. Um, um, right. You may want to roll and understand. Um, I'd like to try to figure out how long it is until we're in the black hole. Mm, like, how long do we have? That is an excellent. That's question. what I want to so understand. So, if you want to try to understand black holes in general and the situation you're in, that would make sense. You could roll either mm. analyze or understand. Either one would kind of make sense in the situation. I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Okay, I got a. S- well, which a move six. did you want to roll? Which one are you doing? Uh, understand. Okay. Okay. Which so is... you're going to add your int. Yeah, and I think that's a six. Let me check my ability. Yeah, six. So okay. So I'm going to go I'm ahead and that. I'm going to go ahead and check another box here. <laughs> so the ship is rocked by. You, you're guessing at this point, it's it being it, the, what's happening is the ship's getting hit by like laser fire or something from these ships. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> but here's the thing. Um, you don't, that, whatever's causing the ship to move like that is not coming from those starfighters. There's no way they have enough firepower to make the ship move like that. So you think maybe it's also, there's other things involved here. So you've only seen the starfighters. Um, but Ooh. them attacking the ship would not cause it to move probably at all. So there may be something else also attacking the, um, the ship. So, but you don't really know much about black holes, it turns out. <laughs> so you're not sure. Shouldn't have skipped that physics class. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, maybe the engineer knows something, though. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to um, understand what's, what, going on what's with that black possible. Hole, how long we have. Yeah. Okay, sure, totally. To yep. come up with, yeah. All right, you got a... Ah, uh, you have a higher int, though, yeah. so you got a seven. seven. Ooh, just barely. Okay. Okay, yep, good enough. Well, listen, I'm not, I'm not ticking the clock again. You, by the way, you guys are at three out of eight on the clock, so okay. just FYI. Um, okay. So the black hole, you guys are still um, outside what's called the event horizon. So 
you are still able to get away from it. So a black hole, just as like an overview, a black hole is a gravitational effect. And what happens is if you get too close to it, if you get past what's called the event horizon, your ship may not be able to pull itself out of it, and it will be drawn into the black hole and destroyed. Um, so you're not at that point yet, but you could be. And the reason that you're not is because of the size of the ship. So the smaller you are, the better chance you're going to have of getting pulled into that black hole. You know what? Let's not go with that escape pod, guys. Let's <laughs> no. not go with that escape pod. <laughs> Those don't sound so great after all. Bad idea. Um, mm. Yeah, you would know that the escape pods do not have any steering on them. Basically what they do is they head towards a beacon. So uh, typically a planet that's inhabited will have beacons that, that draw escape pods towards them so that you head towards a settlement or at least close to a settlement that you can get help. Uh, okay. So there's no planets nearby what would have a beacon like you're not you're like just in the middle of space. So the escape pod would be a very bad idea right now. <laughs> I'm not saying it's not an option later, but right now it's gonna fly right into that black hole. Yeah. Mm. That's okay, cool. and now that I'm getting in my turret, do I see any yeah. bigger ships or the small ships or yes. what to attack? Yes, so there is a set of four fighters, Okay. and there's a bigger ship that is much smaller than this ship, but it is like a gunship. Okay. So it's, it's much more like a military-style ship. Um, you're pretty sure these are pirates. Um, you definitely don't recognize these ships as being anything to do with Star Patrol. Okay. So. So, so when I sit in this seat, I kind of know... I get the idea of how to shoot, aim and shoot at this. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it's it's basically uh, uh, you know it, it's something that everybody can do. You don't need special skill or anything like that. Um, you know, some people will be better at than others, but yeah, I mean, you can totally sit there and shoot stuff. It's All not right. you know just like Luke Skywalker just jumped into that thing and started shooting. <laughs> you can totally do that. I totally yep. know what's going on. All right, I'm gonna fire at Will. And the then. engineer is just as good as you are at it, by the way. Cool. So well, I'm firing at Will at the big ship. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the fire at Will move, and you're gonna use the ship's weapon stat, which is a zero. So just roll and hope for the best. Spray and pray. I got seven plus zero, so seven. Okay. So you got a partial success. So what does that do? I'll let you read that. All right. Partial any su partial success. Your vessel is exposed to their attack as well. well do your the, you do the any success first and then okay. the partial. Yeah. So I deal uh, your vessel's damage to the target. So die six. You said. Yep. So two damage. Okay. To vessel, but since it's partial. Our vessel is exposed to their attack as well. So the other vessel does a d6 plus 1. So I'm going to have you roll that as well. Right. They did 6 damage. <laughs> okay. Much so better you have shields of 3 on your ship, okay. so it ends up taking 3. Okay. And the hull so the hull's now down to 9. Okay. Right. All right. So, uh, yeah. So that's, that's how the shooting works. Pretty simple, yep. huh? Um, so... All right, so then we'll go back to engineering. So what are you guys doing down there? What did that engineer say to you before he ran away? He, he'll try to fix something that's been jotting the uh, ship, right? Well, he's trying to fix the antimatter containment. Yeah, antimatter uh, Did container. he ask you to do something? Uh, just pulling the ship away from the black hole. Yeah. So we're just going to run to the bridge and like... You're at the... the no, you're oh, an engineer. You're, you're actually engineering. on the opposite yeah. side of the ship from the bridge. So we're oh, gonna, okay. yeah, we're gonna yeah, run to the bridge. I, I assume that's what. Do you steer it? Does it have like a little, like in a ship where you got the little wheel? Uh, Jack, why aren't you? Why well, don't you try to do like shields or something to help us? Shields. Yeah. Put up shields uh, for us. Well, the, we can, we can do. Um, you just hit the shield button. No, there's a raised shield. Yeah, there's raised a vehicle, shield. a vessel Special. move called raised shield. So what happens oh, okay. is your your ship has shields of three right now. So oh, okay, I. See. You can increase it if you use the raised shields move. Why are you doing that the uh, raised shields move? I'm going to run the bridge to find out how to steer the ship. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll raise shields. Okay. So the ship's power is plus one. Uh, so I roll... Uh, Two dice, six, plus one. I got a 12. Beautiful. Hey. All right. So um, you got a complete success. So what happens is that the uh, it adds plus plus four forward to the vessel's shields. So the next time the ship takes damage, it's going to have seven shields. Oh, nice. And you happen to know the gunship yeah. can do a maximum of seven damage. So it cannot penetrate your shields the next time it you get hit. So cool. that's good to know. Yeah. All right, Enough cool. it could only protect it against the black hole. <laughs> it will not. <laughs> but it does save you from getting hit by the ships for now. 
It, the, forward means the next time. So what happens is after you guys get hit, your shields go back down to three. Okay. Okay. So gotcha. you can keep doing this, no problem until you fail or something bad happens, but essentially you can keep trying to do that. Okay. Okay. So um, Puny runs up to the bridge. Um, there's a bunch of people up there, like, eh, running around trying to do stuff. Um, the engineers are trying to help with stuff. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, first, I'm going to tell them that the, the what the chief engineer did and then mm-hmm. uh, what he asked me to do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then uh, try to figure out what is the control for steering. Sure. So there's, um, if you imagine, like, the bridge on, like, a, a Star Trek ship, you know, there's, like, right. different... Uh, stations where it has panels and stuff like that. So um, there are certain panels that are dedicated to like the comm or the, the you know steering the ship around. So you could totally just commandeer one of those. They you know they, they see that you're an engineer and you seem like you know what you're doing. So they will totally let you do that. Okay. Uh, so it, in order to steer the um, the ship away from the blackout, do I just do like the evasive action? Or? Exactly. So mm-hmm. the ship okay. is in danger, essentially. So evasive action allows you to get out of that danger. So that would make a lot of sense. Um, the ship's right. speed, however, is minus one. Yeesh. It is a tank. <laughs> it does not move real good. Not so uh, evasive. Okay. No, <laughs> not really. <laughs> improve the speed or... What's that? So you just roll again? Yeah. yeah, but it's my, you're minus, a minus one. one though, because the speed sucks. Okay, you got a seven. Okay, so you got a partial okay. success, right? Okay, mm-hmm. cool. So what happens on a partial success? I'll let you read it. Uh, you avoid the danger, but the GM chooses one. Uh, your vessel takes its damage. Your vessel draws unwanted attention. Your vessel is put in a different danger. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you do manage to pull the ship away, the Largo, away from the black hole. So you're now further away from the event horizon. You can still see it, but now you're not in immediate danger of being pulled into it. Mm -hmm. So that's really good. However, um, you do notice, and everybody who's kind of paying attention will notice, that that gunship is now trying to dock with your ship. Oh, shit. And probably board the ship. So, yeah. (laughs) So... The good news is you guys have resolved one of the milestones, the get Largo out of the black hole. You're essentially out of it. If, like, the totally shit hits the fan, you could get back into it, but it's pretty unlikely. So I'm going to go ahead and say you resolve that milestone. Okay. So you guys get two um, XP for that. You still have the other milestone, which is repel the pirate okay. attack. Um, the clock is still there because the pirates are involved with that clock, too. Um, so the clock is still there. Now that I see hmm. them starting to dock, I'm going to try and shoot again, especially... Towards the area where they're docking, like I imagine they start heading towards some docking station. Okay. If we just release the cargo, there's nothing for them to steal, right? You don't know what they're trying to Whoa. do, so yeah. perhaps uh, our yeah. cargo's in there too, <laughs> sir. Oh, it, oh no! It, it's in, it, it's in one of my orifices. I'm not gonna say which one. <laughs> well, that might be your extra that we don't know about. All right, I'm gonna try and shoot. Oh. Fire at will. Yep. Yep. Go for it. Now remember, the ship's weapon is zero. Oh, five. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and tick another clock. So you're now four out of eight on the clock. Not good with this um, gun, guys. Yeah. So you're not able to get a good angle on the gunship because it's right next to the ship, and it's on the opposite side from where you are, so you can't mm-hmm. really shoot at it. Um, and the fighters do um, shoot, at, shoot at the ship. Um, while this is happening. So they just hit it. They don't do any damage because your shields are up to seven. But now your shields are back down to three. So they've okay. hit your ship. No, no damage, but, but they your got shields are back down shields. to three. Okay. Um, and the gunship has docked with the ship. Uh-oh. So it is now attached. So you'll need to deal with that. Okay. I'm All right. disengaging in. I didn't see the map, but do I kind of have a general idea of where the docking would occur? Like where, I mean, you know like physically where they are. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the ship's not. It, it, the, the ship is basically just like a long tube with like some cool like stuff on the outside. But essentially, it's a big long hallway, right? So. Gotcha. Yeah, you can figure out where they are. Not a problem. Um, well, I'm gonna head right, towards Jack and I, try and like get them to know that where I'm headed. All right. So Puny, what do you want to do? Um. Hmm. Everybody on the bridge is freaked out about. They, they all know that the pirates have docked now, so they're like all. Oh. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'll, the, the, I'll run the, back. The, the captain is, like, ordering those guards to try to go down there to see what's happening. You know these guards are probably not going to be sufficient to stop the pirates. 
And I just ran in saying, oh. they've docked! We've got to ah, stop ah. them! So, the the ship got to have some sort of, like, a security system, right? So they can choose which door to permanent, temporarily lock down and which door to open. Sure, sure. Mm-hmm. So, so I'll, I'll find the control panel for that and then figure out the location where their attached possible entrance are and then lock those doors. Okay. So why don't we have you roll understand because you're probably not that familiar with this ship's particular system. So go ahead and roll your yeah. um, understand and we'll see how you do. She got a 10. Ten. Beautiful. All right. So you definitely know how to do this. Um, there are individual doors you can open and close. Uh, yeah, not a problem. So you do okay. want to try to, like, seal them off from like they're already going to be getting into the ship but you can close doors that they would need to get to the bridge or get to other parts of the ship yeah so uh, i'll seal the door to the bridge and to the engineer room okay okay sure so with those two doors sealed they will be able to run around in the middle of the ship but they won't be able to get to the ends where important stuff is um now they could theoretically cut through the doors like physically, if they have things to do that with. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But in well, terms of it's... like just opening them, no, they won't be able to. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. All right, you did that. Um, what about uh, Jack? What's Jack doing? Mm. You're down in engineering still, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if there's much going on here. All right. Do you want to go out and uh, meet with those guys and try to sell them drugs? No. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I will try to understand what it is they would be interested in, like why they would be coming here, like. What, what do they want from a transport ship? Uh, That's probably going to be more of an analyze because understand is more okay. about like, oh, I guess it could be people. I'll go with analyze. Yeah, that, analyze might be your best bet here because you can ask questions and stuff. That might be Yeah, I'll ask about the pirates. Oh, oh, boxcars. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. All right. Um, so uh, do I have to go from this list? Yes. So who's really in control here of the pirates? Okay. So you do see that there is a kind of a more prominent looking pirate. You'd guess he is their commander. Um, He's got like a cybernetic arm and like some fancy weapons and stuff. So you're guessing. And the rest of them are fairly mundane. Like they have laser pistols and pretty mundane equipment. So you would guess he's their leader. Okay. Uh, What here is not what it appears to be? Um, so you notice that one of the pirates looks a lot different than the others. Um, this pirate is wearing like a a lab coat, um, and has like some medical equipment. Mm -hmm. You're not sure what that guy is. He doesn't look like a pirate at all, but he's with them. What should I be careful to avoid? Um, well, the most obvious thing is right now they haven't seen you. So you're, 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 you're viewing them, but you're, like, hidden or something, right? So mm. um, you get the sense that these guys are pretty aggressive. They'll probably shoot you as soon as look at you. So okay. you definitely, because there's so many of them, you probably want to avoid them seeing you. Now, remember, you get plus one forward when acting on this information. So if you okay. do anything about this, you get a plus one. So. Is there any way we could steer where they're docking? So steer They've this already docked. Docked. The docking's done. You've, you're seeing them. Yeah, yeah, but they're trying to enter. And that's, like, on a certain section of no, the ship. No, they've entered. They're on the ship. That's how you saw them. Okay. They're wandering around the ship right now. I thought Chloe had locked the door. She or, locked I'm the sorry. doors to the bridge and to engineering. So the whole middle of the ah, ship is okay. open for them to do stuff. The, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, no, that's not good. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> they can get to the cargo area. They can, get to uh, they can get to engineering, but they can get to life support. They can get to the guns. They could get to... The passenger area where you guys started, they could get to all those places. So by the time I've disengaged the guns, I've st- I'm starting to see a bunch of these pirates aboard. Um, you were on the bridge, didn't you? Say you went to the bridge. Yeah, I went to try and get these fools to come help, but right. So uh, what I'm imagining yeah. is you ran to the bridge and then Puny shut the doors. Uh, okay. So you guys are actually split up right now. So um, Jack is actually running around in the middle area, and you guys are on the bridge. Okay. You guys can leave the bridge, but you'll have to unlock that door. Yeah, to do that. let's not do that. Is there like security footage or anything of these people entering? Yeah, sure. Like yeah, we, yeah. we also see them entering, and we. S- yeah, I mean, you get the same basic information I gave to um, Jack. Mm. It's just that you know you won't have like details. The cameras. Do we see Jack great. sneaking They're around good. like on the cameras? Like we see. No. See, he see no. his like. No, because he's trying to remain hidden. So okay. I'll say he, you guys can't see him. Y- you know, generally that he's around there. Okay. But 
That's all you would know. You guys have communicators, so if you guys decide you want to talk to each other, you totally Am I able to do telepathy if I see somebody, or is there a range? Um, what does the move say? Doesn't say anything about range. It doesn't. Does not. Well, I'm going to try and read Mr. Leader Guys, the cyber... He's like half yep. c- part cyborg. Yeah, so he he would totally be hostile. Yeah, so need to spend a I'm assuming I have to yeah. spend one reserve this time. Right, right. Cyborgs usually aren't the friendliest of types. No. Uh, let's see. Six plus intelligence, so eight. So on uh, any success, you get um, a communication link is established, and it lasts until you use another move. Okay. So you do have it. You do have to spend the reserve because you didn't yes. get a complete success. Okay. So you're down to two out of three. Now, because he's hostile, you have to spend another reserve to read his mind. So right now you could talk to him. Okay. But according to the move, you would have to spend a reserve to read his mind. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. So you'll be down to one reserve. Yep. All right, so he wants to get to the pass, like the the passenger area. So he wants to get to the place where you guys started, and he wants to uh, capture a woman. Hmm. And you can picture this woman in his mind, and you you saw her. She was not one of the ones that died. She was one of the ones that was wandering around disoriented at the beginning. Okay, so I kind of recognize that I saw her. Yeah, you don't know who she is, but you recognize her. She was in there. Gotcha. So you kind of have like a mental image of her, and he is interested in her for some reason. Okay. All right. In engineering, is there any way I can like cut off the oxygen to the 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 portion where they're in, or anything like I can any important systems I can disable. So you Just can't, particularly so you, for them. So you, right now you can't get an engineering because she, because Peony locked the door. Um, however, I, I, I was in engineering. I don't think No, I you left. left there to go look at the pirates and then she the closed pirates, the door. And then she locked them. I did? Oh. Yeah, you wouldn't have been able to see the pirates from engineering. You would have had to oh. gone out in the hallway and look at them. So I, I assume that's what you did. So... Um, okay. But, as I mentioned earlier, there's a life support and environmental control that's outside of engineering, which you can still get to. Okay. So, yeah, you can totally go do that. Well, that's going to cut it off for me if I'm kind of in the same... <laughs> yes. <location. laughs> yes. Uh, now I'm not that much of a self-sacrificer. <laughs> but, okay, but, 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 I want to mention something to you. So, do you have a utility belt in your inventory? Uh, let me look. Oh, you can still... Oh, yeah, I have a utility oxygen. belt. I'll cut I didn't notice off. that. So if you do, what the utility belt does is it allows you to basically produce yeah, items that could reasonably be on a utility belt, and then you mark a use of it. For example, you could say, oh, I have I a flashlight, or I have a rope, or I have a breath mask, or I have a whatever. I'm going to totally have uh, something that will give me a little oxygen. Totally. And, I'm, and I am cutting off the oxygen to this room. Perfect. You're still going to have to figure out how to do that. But, yeah, but you, at yeah, least yeah, yeah. you're not going to kill yourself. <laughs> Just like, go ahead and mark a use of your utility belt, and then you've got that. Yep. All right. So it's it's basic, it's totally like a user-defined kind of a variable sort of a system. It has to be stuff that would reasonably on a, be on a belt. So you can't say, like, I have a chainsaw or something because that would be silly. Mm-hmm. But. Um, there's a bigger version of that called survival gear that the um, explorer gets, and you can kind of have bigger stuff in there. Okay. okay. Anyway, yeah. so why don't we um, do an understand, see if you can figure out how to work this life support system. All right. I got a seven. Okay. Um, so you can shut down – you think you can shut down a life support um, – but you're not sure how to do it in specific sections. You think that you would have to shut it off for the whole ship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I like to look. You're basically All just right. going to hit the power button on the life support. <laughs> <laughs> this will do it. This is not the best plan got in the world. Him. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you got the gist of what you wanted, but not the best, maybe, <laughs> solution. Well, you know what? I never cared for puny or Prometheus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I'm out of ideas, you guys. Okay, that's fine. You can just stay there for the moment. Um, the pirates do not seem to be heading your direction, by the way, so for the moment you're safe from them. They're they're heading a different direction, so. Um, okay, yeah, let's go back to Puny and, um, Prometheus on the bridge. So am I just noticing that they're, all the people are just headed there, all the henchmen and everybody? 
On yeah, so you guys were asking about the cameras before, so you can see that they're heading to the cryo chambers. Yeah. Okay. So they're not heading towards the bridge. They're not heading towards engineering. They're heading towards I'm the cryo chambers. I'm gonna unlock and unlock the door and start heading heading that way. Okay, so you're gonna unlock the door to the bridge. Okay. Um, are you trying yeah. to be? Ooh, wait. Careful about this so they don't see you or. Before before I unlock the door, I think I got a okay. a better idea. Although I would have to break my link with the. The guy, because as soon as I do another move, it breaks that link, right? Correct, yep. I'm going to try and plant a suggestion on Mr. Labcoat that's with the crew. Okay. So You will have to do a new telepathic link to do that, because you have to do it telepathically. Oh, so I could just try and do a suggestion to the guy I'm already linked you with? You could, him? yeah, right, right. Ooh, but that would use my last reserve doing this. All right, right I'm going to do it. Okay. Well, remember, so hold on. Before you do that, suggestion caught makes you do spend a reserve. So if you roll telepathic link and get a partial, you're going to be out of reserve. But I'm already telepathically linked with him, right? Oh, oh, oh I th that's right. I thought you were going to yeah. do the doctor. Okay, yeah. No, no, no. no. If mind. I do the cyborg guy, I'm already right. linked, so I'm only yep, spending yep. my one Totally, reserve. yep. Okay. Do I have to say what my suggestion is before um, I do anything? Yeah, I think you need to. Okay. Um... <laughs> I'm going to suggest that he thinks it's, hmm, that he stops his crew and heads to the cargo area. Okay, sure. That seems legit. Because they, they, they think that's where the woman's actually at. Yep. So just real quick before you roll. This would be a situation where you might apply a situational penalty if it's something that would be really out of character for them. So like, mm -hmm. kill the doctor guy or jump out of the airlock Oh, yeah. Just start shooting something. everybody in your team. Right. Like, I'm not going to – as a GM, I'm not going to say no to that, but that would be something that you'd get a penalty to do. Okay. Or if it was something really reasonable, like – uh, maybe somebody who already attacked them. Go attack that guy. Like, that would be super reasonable, so you might get a plus yeah. one. So that's where those situational okay. bonuses sometimes come in. But this is even keel enough to where it's not a minus orb. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, come on, goodness. Five plus my intelligence, so a seven. Okay. Do I... So that uh, is a success. Um, however, mm -hmm. you do spend your last reserve, so you're not out of reserve. Yes. no reserve for me. And um, so... Um, Cool. So you, so they do it. So now they're heading towards the cargo area. All right. And that's where we're going to stop for tonight. Okay. So you guys still have the milestone about repelling the pirate attack because they're still there. Um, yep. You still have the clock, which is four out of eight. So there's still potential for. So we're you guys haven't actually failed danger. for a while, so that's good. Because um, I haven't marked any in a while. Um, okay. So I want to, real quick, before we end, we're going to do this thing called End of Session, which is a special move. Oh, it's on the move sheet. That. And you guys can follow along with this if you want. Oh, go ahead and make sure that you guys have marked XP for anything that we may have missed while you were doing stuff. Okay. I see. If you want to look real quick. Um, does Puny really understand my powers now that I started controlling the guy? Uh... I mean, I'm not so sure she notices me just taking That's a good question. Person. Did, yeah. Would you have noticed him doing this stuff? Uh, well, uh, he was doing um, telepathy into the, the chief scientist, uh, chief engineers, I noticed that. And then uh, he was sort of in a different place than I am for the following ones. Well, I you guys are both notice. on the bridge when he's doing this thing with the with the pirate guy. Correct. Okay. So, so if, technically, if, I understand. If we yes. retcon the fact that he may have told you he was going to do it before he did it, and then you saw the result of it, then we'll say yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just he gets some XP out well, of it. Well, my, yeah. my, yes. my goal in the end is to maybe release the cargo while they're in there. So sure, totally. It yep. would be a good reason to do that. Yeah. Sure. Um, Anything else? Jack didn't take me to another dangerous place that time, so that's it. No, not really. No. Okay. You guys are good on everything else? You marked everything that makes sense? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I also have a relationship. Like, I Did must you help. Yeah, yeah. I must help oh, I forgot Prometheus solve a perplexing yeah. mystery. Okay. Uh, I mean, I helped him solve the control panel. Totally. Yes. Yep. You definitely That's legit. Did that. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, well, you guys are getting two XP for each of these, so just make sure you mm -hmm. guys are marking the right amount there. Yep. Okay. Anything for Jack that we may have missed XP wise? Uh, no, I don't think I've been hitting my relationship or drives. You've, you've kind of been separated. 
Yeah, yeah. The the relationships mm-hmm. are hard if you're separated, but you know, you just just keep looking at those and making sure that you're trying to tr- trying to get those. So, um, all right. So let's do the end of session stuff real quick. You will get XP from this as well. So this is the other okay. way that you guys get XP. So, um, cool. all right. So at the end of the game session, the GM asks the group the following questions. If you agree yes to the questions, you'll each mark XP. In this case, two per question. Okay. First one. Did everyone trigger at least one drive? Yes, I yeah. did. Nope. You didn't trigger any? <laughs> what were your uh, drives, Nick? Find critical information no one else can and get someone else out of danger using skill and I think you got critical dial. information, yeah. didn't you? You just yeah. got critical information about the whole entire people. Yeah, yeah, about the pirates yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And about if you yeah, turned yeah. off life support, you would do it for everybody. Well, that well, wouldn't really <laughs> help. Not that. But <laughs> definitely the pirates. <laughs> spying on the pirates, I would say definitely trigger that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So right, give yourself two XP for that. And then you guys got a yes so that everybody gets two more. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. Second question: okay. Did everyone trigger at least one relationship? Uh, yes. Yes, for me. Definitely. Uh, you're supposed to risk yourself to protect me, and Prometheus uh, is supposed to use it as a distraction. Eh, probably mm. not. Then yeah. Don't know. Yeah. Maybe next session. Okay. So no for that one. That's okay. Uh, did you survive despite incredible odds? Well, I'd say uh, escaping a black hole is pretty good. Uh survival um yeah you we weren't in really... the black hole yet you were close to it yeah we, we're getting close to that event horizon i mean the yeah, pirates okay. we haven't had we haven't been able to finish yeah what the hell we'll give it to you so two more so. um did anybody undergo a transformation physical mental or spiritual no uh, no I don't Definitely. think so. That's that's something that usually develops over time, so we, yeah. we won't pay it for a couple hours. So we'll say no to that one. Um, did anyone make a new ally or turn an enemy into a friend? Um, no. No? No, not really. Okay, that's all right. And then for each milestone that passed, um, everyone gets two XP. So we passed two milestones because we did the initial one, which is find out what's going on, and then we did the get away from the black hole. So that's four more XP for everybody. Okay. So you guys should be – you guys should all have at least nine, I would think. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. So what you do is you advance, you take away nine, and you have whatever the remainder is for next time. Okay. Um, and okay. then you pick one of those advances on the second page. Okay, cool. All right. All, All right. right. Thanks, All right. Thank you for running yep. the game. Yep. yep. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. All right. All right. Later. See you guys. Later. All right. Bye-bye.